This is an experiment with the Wissota Skate Sharpener for portable use. What I've got here is a Black & Decker inverter that's 750 watts continuous. Got like a lawnmower battery here and then I've got a kilowatt meter here to measure what the uh, power is. And uh, this inverter will start the uh, skate sharpener. It's a little bit marginal but it will work. If I kick this on here the inverter is finally happy there. I've got only 121 watts about 3 amps and 120 volts 122 volts and if I go over here and sharpen the skate get the wattage running off batteries couple hundred watts so the intent was to go ahead and uh, see if I could run this off a car battery which seems like it'll work the quarter amp probably a quarter horsepower motor it says three amps there's 3.06 this 3.2 amps three amps there uh, generally a motor like this when it starts going to draw probably uh, five times the amps just for instantaneous so you're going to draw 15 amps that's why this starting is kind of hokey let it stop here could put my hand to do it okay I'm going to restart again and it finally is up to speed. I did try this other inverter uh, that's 400 watts continuous 800 peak and it will not start it. Uh, not just because it's Chicago's electric whatever, it's just that this is my, won't start it. I even tried pushing the wheel and I'll try that, show that in just a second. Okay here I've got the inverter that's 400 watts Continuous 800 peak, 122 uh, volts putting out. We go ahead and kick this on, and it doesn't like that. Even if I give this a little bit of kick, which generally starts helps a motor start easier. Even if I sit there and really play with it like if you just had to use this inverter so a 400 watt continuous inverter just doesn't cut it there we go I'm going to kick this on <laughs> there you go we got it started 120 watts makes about sense. I cut the extension cord off there. So the intent was to go ahead and try this. I want to put it in the back of my pickup truck if I want to go skating elsewhere and want to touch up my skates or somebody else's skates mobily. Uh, looks like it's feasible. Now you can see after I've sharpened the skates here, still haven't even drawn. So it shows that the 400 watt continuous wouldn't start the motor at all. The one that's 750 continuous will. That's a Black & Decker 
I got this uh, probably about nine years ago. Okay, I'm running it with soda here off of uh, 12 volts DC with this uh, inverter. That's a modified sine wave. It's not a true sine wave inverter. I've got this uh, meter hooked up to measure 20 amps full scale and it's in series here. You can see that the current's jumping all over the place. And you can hear the motor's got this bum 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 bum. And if I go over here and uh, look at the... You take this, it's hard to figure out what the average current is jumping between 8, say, and 13 to 14 amps. I've got a capacitor over here hooked up here that's a 10 microfarad. I'm going to plug this in. Smoothed out the motor a little bit. It barely increased the power factor, made it a little bit better, but the DC draw is a little bit happier. It's around 12 amps. So 12 amps at say 12 or 13 uh, volts, 12 volts you'd have 144 watts. You probably got closer to 160 watts DC out of the battery. And if we go over here and look at it, you got about 106, 120 going to the motor. I tried the same experiment with uh, using a bigger capacitor here and that gets the power factor uh, to unity but this uh, inverter is not happy with that combo. It works great off of the AC line this 45 microfarad in parallel with the uh, with soda makes the uh, current very low and the watts and the uh, volt ampers be about the same. Uh, this bigger cap would probably work with a uh, true sine wave inverter, but that's just what they call a modified sine wave inverter. So what we've got going on here is that we've got about 115 to 120 watts when we're running this. I'm going to go ahead and move the meter, put it up over here. I'm going to go ahead and take a pass on the skate. You can see how the current goes up. Actually, I killed it. The reason I ki it killed here is it's going through this meter, through these little leads. So I need a bigger uh, amp meter here. I'll touch this on here and restart it. That's no good. So during uh, sharpening skates here, you're probably going to go over 20 amps. So if you actually use this off of probably a uh, cigarette lighter, you'd probably blow the fuse. Unless you have it running off a little uh, lawnmower battery here and then back feed it just to keep it charged up. Yep, ran out of smoke there. So what I need is a better shunt on here. It'll measure higher than uh, 20 amps. This meter here through these wimpy wires is not uh, not good. Got some loss through there, so that's a little bit of a hokey setup. Of course, if I hook this up through here, real easy to take a pass. The current on here, the, the uh, wattage is going uh, from 100 watts probably to around 200. There's the wattage.
and just as a swag if this is drawing 12 amps right now you probably got double of amps so you probably got about uh, 20 25 30 amps and you're taking a pass so you you probably couldn't run this off of a cigarette lighter unless you got some beefy version uh, so my plan is just use a battery like this in the back of the truck and then top it off with some leads uh, to keep it charged up while I'm uh, sharpening some skates here